Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be drawing a poodle in my sketchbook. I start out by drawing a few guidelines just to show me where the body and the head will be on this page. Once I was relatively happy with where those blocks were, I could then mark out the main features such as the poodle's ears, neck and the front of the body. I find using guidelines in this way is really helpful as it will mean that my drawing will be the right size when I'm finished. There's nothing worse than when your details are all done and it's not as big or as small as you wanted it to be. So here I'm just fleshing out the outlines of the legs of this poodle to really bring it to life. For this particular reference, this poodle had a really funny trim to it, especially as it had these little boots almost of fur, so it was really fun to block out those parts of the drawing. Once I was happy with the main shape of the poodle, it was time to work on the face, so making sure to work on the nose and the eyes and its little mouth. Overall, I was really pleased how the face of this little poodle came out. I think it has quite an illustrative aspect to it as it's not too realistic, but I think it captures the poodle's essence well. Then I added some shading just to make this poodle seem a little bit more 3D and less flat. The next thing I worked on was making these ears look a lot less block-like and a lot more furry. So I just did this with a few flicks of my brush to create that fur texture. This particular reference photo I used had a collar on this poodle so it was quite fun to deviate from drawing fur and drawing a little bit of detail such as a collar. The next stage of my process was to really define the front leg, so mapping out where those dark shaded areas are. I then decided to do similar to the ears, making sure to capture the blocks of dark areas I could see to really bring this poodle to life with the shading. You'll notice that I decided to use circular motions in some spots just because I did notice this poodle has slightly curly fur so I thought that would be a good way to capture that. You'll often find darker shadows towards the back leg as it's furthest away from the viewer so I made sure to use a lot of hatching in that particular leg. Then I was working on the last leg using circular motions to capture that curly textured fur. Once I was relatively happy with the body, it was time to work on the face again, just making sure to bring out the details of this face especially with the contrast that I created in the rest of the body, it was important that this one matched. The next part was probably the part that I found the most enjoyable was to draw the bottom of these poodle's legs. The way that the fur was cut on this poodle makes them look like little boots, which I thought was quite fun. It's also like a really nice contrast as you can see that I tried to capture the short fur with those circular swirls whereas the bottom furs I really tried to capture the length of how long they are by doing longer strokes and I think that contrast came out well in the end. Next up was to work on the tail of this poodle. I had just drawn it as a circle as a guideline initially, but I really needed some definition to give it that big poof effect. I then went back and just darkened up a few more areas just to make sure that the contrast was just right. 
Overall, I really enjoyed drawing this poodle. I think it just had a lot of character and it was really fun to draw the contrast of long and short fur. Be sure to leave a comment down below if you've enjoyed this video and check out this playlist for some more.